Play action on first down. Hooked out of the backfield. And the catch is made and running free is Trey Bradford. Huge game still rolling down near the 20 yard line. They're in the red zone. Daniels on the move, flips it short to Taylor, and the tight end makes a man miss and bangs down inside the five-yard line. Fourth down from the two-yard line. Daniels scanning, now trying to create. He'll be dropped back at the 15. The sack is made by D.J. Lundy. Benson follows some blockers, and Trey Benson one of the toughest guys to tackle, one of the best in the country, Kirk, at yards after contact a year ago. Third and 14. Blake Lock at two. Travis flushed. Looking for help. Delivers underneath. It's Wilson again. And Wilson has now made three catches, all of them for first downs for the LSU 40. Well, this time you wondered where they would put Perkins. They spy him. He's not going to bring him here on third down. They're going to spy with him. So he's got to try to keep that quarterback. Problem is he commits too far. Let's Jordan Travis create. And then they find the open man for that first down. They're all the way back to first and 25. He's a potential drive killer. And they get to first. Travis has been dialed in on third down tonight. There's a slant on first down. Gets made by Coleman. Deion Coleman, his first touchdown as a 7 0. Shoot the goal line stand and they score in their first possession. Yeah, Florida State fans, this is what you wanted to see. Keon Coleman, the big receiver from Michigan State, 6'4, 215. Josh Williams, he took a look at the back and then sprints up the middle and Daniels knives into the secondary. First down inside the 35. Holly. Bradford is the back. Daniels looks and finds a receiver on the edge, and that's Kyron Lacey. And Lacey weaves his way down near the goal line. Stop just short. Dynamic with the football. Made that a much bigger play than it looked like it was going to be. Slipped the tackle. Showed great balance, and what a throw there by Daniels. And the effort here by Lacey gets the hand down. Jerry and Jones try to bring him down, and heel stays up. Noel's defense wasn't set. They play fast and score. Trey Bradford barrels in. And the Bayou Bengals answer with a 75-yard drive. Down all the way near the goal line. And then this time the offensive line opens up and up room. Instead, it's Daniels with a keeper. And they swarm him. Another fourth down stop by the Seminoles. Shaheem Brown made the tackle. The drop is a drive killer, and Mastromano hits it high. And coming up to make a fair catch, another muff. The scramble for the football. The Florida State team has it. LSU thinking, oh no, not again. Travis had to pump fake. Bows it into traffic and gives it right back to LSU. Jay Bramlett. To punt it. Not particularly good. It's going to bounce and get a nice LSU roll. And that's Coleman who did not come up and field it. He was not a punt returner at Michigan State. He's new to the roll. And he escapes. And Daniels right down the middle of the field. Makes a man miss. And is finally dragged down at the 11. Kane again, this time he dives into the end zone and LSU takes the lead. Making use of that great field position, 50 yards. The clicker, the ATT 5G. Watch how they just are able to go up and over. Look at that left side, just collapse down, push it down, give him room to go up and over. I respect to Jaden Daniels here on. Efficient start to this game. Pressure off the edge and the completion hit behind the line over there is Coleman. Juice Chestnut with the tackle. Unless he backs out. Now late pressure off the edge. It's picked up and a doubt across the middle. And that time, big fella makes the catch and Wilson dragging folks into LSU territory. LSU rushing only three, playing coverage. Travis has plenty of time and delivers a shot in the middle to Winston Wright Jr. 
the transfer from West Virginia. They didn't come after him. Showing pressure to the left. Hooping throw for the end zone. Battle. Coleman. Touchdown. Went up and got the football over Major Burns. And that's where they're excited to have him arrive from East Lansing. Where Coleman can have a chance to adjust back, even though it's underthrown a bit. It's a tough play for a safety one on one against a receiver. And, it, and move the back over there to help Chip, maybe. And they're going to run the ball. You just give it to Williams. He's got some space. He gets out and barrels way in the Florida State territory. He's knocked out with plenty of time to operate. And that time he passed him off. Neighbors comes across in motion. Daniels is looking to his left, delivers a long throw, and wide open is Brian Thomas. They lost him. No problem. LSU in less than a minute before halftime drives at 67 yards in 10 quick plays. Made his reputation, but you got to do it all. Backward pass. Spawn looking to throw it. Is in deep trouble. Retreating. Now trying to create. Flips it over the middle. And the catch is made by Wilson. Wow. A lot happened there as Duke spawned the receiver. Once again, it's Bell as a blocker, but nowhere to run as Raiden Swinson just blew the play up. This is his first attempt of this season from 33. And he knocks it through with his feet. He has been tonight. He's got the ball still, gets in space, just runs right by Jared Verse. As athletic as he is, he could not get the quarterback. Rodney Hill, he wrestled down. They still cannot get this running game going. Big Jordan Jefferson. Travis against the three-man rush. Should have time and launches over the middle. Coleman goes up and makes a catch. A beautiful pitch and catch. He beat Chestnut out near midfield. Travis as a runner is always a serious threat. But they're trying to draw him off. They're going to run the play. Flips it out and wide open is Toa Feely. With a convoy, makes a cut, still going. Slung down at the one, but a huge fourth down conversion puts him on the brink of claiming the lead. But well, they brought everybody. Brought Greg Book, Brooks, they had blitz here. This is the key right here. They bring the pressure to the outside. Tofili slips to the outside. There's nobody there to pick him up. And now you see a good effort downfield and a heck of a block by Johnny Wilson. And now playing fast, just walking in the end zone is Jordan Travis. Watch this read. Feels it from the backside, pulls that out of there, and ends up walking into the end zone. Knowles bring pressure again. Daniels cannot escape his time. In that situation. You just called your entire team together to start this fourth quarter. What was the message you delivered? You know, play, you got 15 minutes, man. Go put everything we have on the line. Uh, you know, we got we to gotta make sure we're playing smart. I mean, guys are playing Hopefully hard, playing with passion. We just got to make sure we're playing smart and not having any uh, foolish penalties. We're in the fourth quarter now, up seven. These drives get more and more important. Drive recap brought to you by Camping World. And now the handoff to Benson who busts loose. They're beginning to get a little traction with the running game. See who wins this fourth quarter in the trenches. It's a different look, but still a two-back set. From the pistol, with that blocker on the right side. Benson this time has to escape and will fight back and lose only about three. Andre Sam from his safety position wouldn't have it at that time. Travis taken off, has blockers, and Jordan Travis skips out of bounds inside the 30. Travis from the pocket, long looping throw, and that man again. Keon Coleman has a hat trick in his first game with Florida State. Recognizing the matchup, Coleman 6'4", can go up in the air being a basketball player. Drag down is Bradford. Gilbert Edmond, one of those reserves. 
Again, the two-back set that's been so effective getting the ground game going here in the second half and picking his way through his Benson and just powering for a 12-yard gain into LSU territory. This has been months and months in the making of Jordan Travis and Keon Coleman putting in the work to have the chemistry. That's a good point, Holly. Here's Travis on the move, and he flips it wide open. Bell makes an impact play as a receiver, and Florida State may have just stuck the dagger in LSU. You'll see as the play rolls on, watch him. He's, he's actually showing like he's blocking, and then he ends up releasing. That's what affected the safeties. They just ignore that they can get excited about. You saw the beginning of it last year and a continuation now this year. Daniels just trying to desperately create a big play to make a dent in this lead. Neighbors makes the catch, and he's ushered out at the 37. That'll be the message. But with a three-point halftime lead, just got completely out of hand. FSU more physical, just banging around, bullying LSU here in the second half. He's been a survivor. He got booed at home games early in his career. He volunteered to change positions and around, banging into the end zone. And they tack on more. That's Jaheim Bell who scores as a runner after the touchdown catch earlier. Backfield, and it's been a different game from that point on. 100 yards rushing in the second half alone. There's 24, Alexander kind of getting in the way. And... I'll shut up so you can get the audio because that's part of it. They are full <laughs> voice here. There's a long throw, and the catch is made by Brian Thomas, who escapes. And LSU is going to break the scoring streak of 31-0 with their first points after halftime, a 75-yard play. Ends up being a 21-point game with the late LSU touchdown. Mutual respect for these two fine quarterbacks.